Your academic journey, at least this chapter of it, will culminate here on Pembroke Field. Hi, I'm Marlena Duncan, Associate Dean of Diversity Initiatives at the Graduate School. I want to greet our doctoral students who plan to complete their studies in May and help you prepare for the day. You will receive your diploma here on Pembroke Field at the Graduate School Doctoral Commencement Ceremony. Believe me, it will look different then. You will experience the pageantry of the university procession and be surrounded by fellow graduates, family, and friends. Please make sure your family and friends come to Pembroke Field for your ceremony. Parking is available on nearby streets and at Hope High School. So what's involved in commencement weekend? All graduate students are required to check in on Friday or Saturday between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. at the Graduate School in Horace Mann at 47 George Street. Pick up your name card and graduate school pin and get any last minute questions answered on topics including how to wear regalia, where to show up on Sunday, how to sign up for a free photo, or to confirm your name pronunciation. Friday night, you are invited to attend the Graduate Student Council's Celebration Toast with President Paxton and Dean Campbell, followed by the campus dance on the main green. On Saturday, hear the Horace Mann medalist, who is a Brown Graduate School alum, speak at a morning forum or choose from a variety of other forums to attend throughout the day. Saturday afternoon, join us on Pembroke Green, on the Pembroke campus near Alumni Hall, for a reception from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Join graduate school deans and staff and alums for light snacks and drinks to celebrate your accomplishments. Bring your families, register to win some prizes, and enjoy some time with fellow students before you go your separate ways. On Sunday, commencement begins with everyone lining up for the great university procession. Only eligible graduate students who participate in the procession will receive their actual diplomas at the graduate school doctoral ceremony. Please arrive at 9 a.m. at the tent on Simmons Quad. This allows us to coordinate with the registrar and have the right diplomas on hand. Look for the graduate school degree signs. Graduate school staff and volunteers, who will be wearing red polos, can help direct you and answer questions. Your spot is based on alphabetical ordering. Because the line is quite long, you will receive a number via email, which will help you find your spot more quickly on Sunday. Once underway, the procession pathway will take you to the main green, through the Van Wickle gates, across campus, down Thayer Street, up to Pembroke Field. Master students will process to a different location. Your family and friends can watch the procession via simulcast before the ceremony begins. We kindly ask them to wait until 9 a.m. to find seats on Pembroke Field. We will show the activity at the Van Wickle gates on the video screens. The doctoral ceremony begins as soon as the procession arrives at Pembroke Field and graduates are seated. The ceremony includes an invocation, a student speaker, awards presentations, the conferring of degrees, and a benediction. Graduate students receive their diplomas on Pembroke Field. Here's how the ceremony works. When it is time to hand out diplomas, you will be called to the stage. Please note, no backpacks or packages will be allowed on the stage. You will approach the stage with the hood over the left arm and wait to hear your name before ascending the steps. Cross to the center of the stage where the fellow is seated. Shake the fellow's hand with your right hand. Take the diploma with your left hand. Approach the hooding station where two deans will be standing. Smile, the ceremony is being live streamed around the world. After hooding, continue across the stage and descend the stairs. Follow staff direction to the photo station for a professional photo, then return to your chair. At the end of the ceremony, please stay in place at your seat while the stage party exits. A staff member will signal that you may exit. All students may then proceed to the university ceremony, which starts around 1.15 p.m. on the main green. There are reserved seats for graduate students in Section 5. Family members for all degrees should fill in around the edges. The president presides at this one-hour ceremony. Honorary degrees are awarded. A doctoral degree recipient and a master's degree recipient accept symbolic degrees on behalf of graduate students. Departments then host graduation ceremonies that begin at 2.30 p.m. Many involve graduate students. Please ask your program administrator whether you should attend. A list of locations is provided on the commencement website. Let's talk about regalia. This traditional attire is required and it adds to the pageantry of the event. During the procession and the ceremony, carry the hood over your left arm. Be sure to have it unbuttoned to allow for the hood to be easily placed over your head and onto your shoulders. A quick note about respecting the tradition. Please don't decorate your regalia. No balloons, tape, or other embellishments. You may pick up your regalia after May 16th if it was ordered by April 15th. It must be returned to the bookstore by Monday, May 27th. Finally, some tips for the day. Make sure you eat a good breakfast in the morning before you arrive, as it will be a long day. 
bring your own reusable water bottle, there will be water stations around campus, and plan to wear comfortable shoes. Thanks for taking time to learn about Commencement Day. Congratulations, I hope it's a great day for you.